Montel Williams and Profits, by, Laura Bell, www.trcb.me slash Bellevue's Report. In case you don't take time out of your life to watch primetime television, Montel Williams is a spokesperson for the company who helps low-income people get their drugs, the Patient Assistance Program. It was put together by various drug companies. There was a flurry of reports in the blogs and other news outlets who are crying for something to write about. A college newspaper reporter asked Williams during a publicity tour, if he, Williams, thought pharmaceutical companies would be as interested in research and development if their profits were limited capped. Williams reacted in a cranky manner and is now at the middle of a controversy. It would be so nice if the gatekeepers knew what the story really was. No company is going to be interested in research and development if their profits are limited. Why? It's just economics. The only incentive for business owners to make better or different products is so they continue their business and make their stockholders happy. Your article could be in this broadcast. Visit trcb.com to find out how. Thanks to research and development in the pharmaceutical industry there is now more help for those with diabetes, a pill to diminish the effects of Alzheimer's and those are just a couple of the breakthroughs during the last few years. The question poised the college student is evidence of a complete misunderstanding by the general public about the place of profits in a market-based economy. No company would pursue research and development if they didn't think they could reap the benefits. Folks have forgotten the lesson of what happened in Russia under the older regime of the Central Market Committee. Our good friends on 60 Minutes thought this event worthy of coverage some years back. The problem was that no one left on the farms after the changeover knew how to operate the machinery to get the milking done or deal with the crops. The information on how to manage these tasks was not passed on to the next generation. They weren't interested because they knew it was a thankless task. Work the field and milk the cows and you still are only allowed to keep what the state dictates. Find a new and more efficient way to make this happen and you still only reap the same reward. The younger generation saw what was happening and decided they weren't going to play. The general population simply doesn't understand that profits make the world of business go around. There is nothing inherently evil about profits. Let's think about what happened if profits were capped or limited in any way. Companies would not expand. This would limit jobs and expansion of the gross national project. This boils down to there being less for everyone. There has to be profits at the top of the chain in order for the rest of us to benefit. Putting a cap on anyone's profits would change the life we have known throughout the history of our country. I am not saying that CEOs and other top execs don't sometimes get away with outlandish rewards for their position, but capping profits is not the way to fix that problem. We don't want the economy, or for that fact, any one industry to stand still. It would be disastrous to say the least. Humans need to be constantly reminded not to throw the baby out with the bathwater. Laura Bell is freelance writer and owner of www.bellbusinessreport.com The Bell Business Report offers common sense business advice and how-to info for running your business. It takes the everyday headlines apart, dealing with business news, and shows you how to put that information to work for you. Music by Kevin MacLeod.